Cameron Diaz. Cameron Diaz. Which one? Shoes or Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't know what he's been saying. A lot of um, 50s TV he was a producer, director. He, he was in a lot of Hitchcock films. He was in Mercury Theater with Orson Welles. He's a hundred years old. He's a hundred years old, and he still he looks great, doesn't he? For a hundred years old. Anyway, I now have to take off. See, if we were next to Carrie, that's good because she gets people. She's good at that. And I, used to, I got a lot of people because of her one. And he's like as bright as anything. Oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah, again, the Irene and Brown. Oh, you're fine. I'm cool. Oh, it works great. How about Charlie Chaplin? Oh, my. Oh, my. Charlie Chaplin. All the They're all great. You can't show them. What advice do you have for a young actor to Hit the bomb. I stole that. Oh. <laughs> Mr. Lloyd, I saw you when you did the QA at the Arrow when they showed Sabotage. It's one of my favorite films. Oh, that was a good film. I enjoyed making it. And I that. loved hearing you talk. Thank this you. It's fascinating. Keep doing what it. What about St. Elsewhere? <laughs> yes. Mr. Lloyd? St. Elsewhere. Bob Rower, ABC Radio Network. Good to see you. I saw your close circuit with the SAG after Q&A uh, a few weeks ago. Splendid job talking about Chaplin and of course your days with Hitchcock. What uh, what stands out about both those masterpiece gentlemen? You need a volume on three. Yes. You, you tell it. Yeah, it they were all great. Yeah. Fascinating inspiration. I thought, it, I thought it a cliche, but they were well wonderful. Thank you for your time. Thank you.